Hello friends, this video on linear equations in one variable part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 8. The organizers of an essay competition decide that a winner in the competition gets a prize of rupees 100 and a participant who does not win gets a prize of rupees 25. Okay. The total price distributed is rupees 3000. Now the, this total price would include the prizes given to the winners and also prizes given to the participants. Find the number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. So this 63 is like the total number. So out of these 63 few were winners and the remaining they got a money of rupees 25 because all of them got something. Those who won they got 100 and those who did not win they got 25. So we have to decide how many out of the 63 were winners. So let us say that the number of winners is equal to x. So if number of winners is x, then how much money would have been given to the winner? So total money given to winners would be how much? So for each winner, the amount that was given was 100. So for x winners, the amount would be 100 into x, that is 100x, right? Now. How much is the total money that is given to the non-winners, that is, that is given to the other participants? Now, for that, we have to calculate the number of other participants because total participants were 63. So, out of 63, x were winners. So, the other participants would be 63 minus x. Therefore, total money that is given to others, given to others would be equal to 63 minus x into 25 because for other participants only 25 rupees were given. So this much money would have been given to the other participants. Now the question says that the total money that is distributed is 3000 which very clearly means that 100x that is the money given to the winner plus the money given to others the sum of these two should be equal to 3000. So that's what it means, right? So with this, we get a linear equation. So if we solve this, we will get the number of winners. So trying to solve this, we get 100x plus 63 into 25, which is 1575 minus 25x is equal to 3000. So let's keep the variables on one side. So 100x minus 25x is equal to 3000 minus 1575. So we get 75x is equal to 1425 or x is equal to 1425 divided by 75. So this would be equal to 19. So the value of x is 19. That means there were a total of 19 winners out of 63 participants. Question number 9. Sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9. When we interchange the digits, it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27. So what is the two digit number? So before we actually start solving this question, let me give you an example. So let's consider any two digit number. Let's consider 52. So when you look at this, it is 52. So these are the digits. 5 and 2 are the digits which together form a two digit number 52. Now when you interchange the digits, it becomes 25. Right. So the overall value of this number changes the moment you interchange the position of the digits. Another important thing is 25 can be written as 20 plus 5. Similarly, 52 can be written as 50 plus 2. Now we will make, or make use of all these small small concepts to solve this question. So let us assume that one digit is equal to x and the other digit, what would be the other digit? Now the sum of the two digits is given as 9. So if one is x, the other has to be 9 minus x. Now what is our original number? So the original number would be equal to if we assume that this digit. So let's say this digit is at the units place. So this is called the units place and this is called the tens place. 
So whichever digit is at the tens place will get multiplied by 10 and whichever is at units place will get multiplied by 1 like how you see here 5 is at tens place so 5 into 10 is 50 2 is at 1 place units place so 2 is multiplied by 1 so it remains as 2 so similarly if we say that let's assume that in the original number if x is at the tens place so it would be x into 10 plus this other digit would be at the unit place so it would be 9 minus x so this would be our original number so this is basically 10x plus 9 minus x so this is our original number but after interchange what happens once we interchange the digits the number should change so after interchange the number would be now x would come to the units place so x would be multiplied by 1 and 9 minus x would be multiplied by 10 so this would be the new number now as per the question the new number is greater than the original number by 27 so new number minus original number is equal to 27 so the new number is 9 minus x into 10 plus x this is the new number minus the original number that is 10x plus 9 minus x so this is equal to 27 so let us try to solve this. So this would be 90 minus 10x plus x minus 10x plus 9 minus x. And this is equal to 27. So this can be written as 90 minus 10x plus x minus 10x minus 9 plus x is equal to 27. So let's keep all the variables on this side that is minus 10x plus x minus 10x plus x. So this would be minus 20x plus 2x and this would be equal to 27 minus 90 plus 9. So this can be written as minus 18x is equal to minus 54 or x is equal to minus 54 by minus 18 which is equal to 3 minus minus will cancel therefore we get the value of x is equal to 3 so what is the two digit number x is equal to 3 so the other digit would be 9 minus 3 that is equal to 6 therefore the original number would be 36 So this is the original number. Now when you reverse it, it becomes 63 and 63 minus 36 is equal to 27. Question number 10. There is a narrow rectangular plot reserved for a school in Mahuli village. The length and breadth of the plot are in the ratio 11 is to 4. At the rate of rupees 100 per meter, it will cost the village panchayat rupees 75,000 to fence the plot. What are the dimensions of the plot? So let us say this is a rectangular plot. So here it is given that the length and the breadth are in the ratio 11 is to 4. So let us assume that the length is 11x and the breadth is 4x. So that's what we have assumed. So length is 11x and breadth is 4x. So in this case, now let's say when you want to fence the plot, what you actually want to do? Fencing will be done throughout the boundary of the plot. Right? So in order to fence this, you should know how much is the boundary of this entire plot. So that boundary is nothing but it is called perimeter of the rectangle. So the perimeter would be equal to this length plus breadth plus length plus breadth that is 2 into length plus breadth that would be the perimeter so this would be equal to 2 into 11x plus 4x so this would be equal to 2 into 15x that is equal to 30x so this would be the total boundary of the plot now let us come to the cost now here it says that the rate of the cost is rupees 100 per meter so rupees 100 is the cost for 1 meter. Now just see from here 
that the total cost the village panchayat has calculated is 75000 so 75000 would be cost for how much meter 75000 would be 1 by 100 into 75000 so now when you calculate this this comes out to be 750 meters that means as per this data the total perimeter of the plot should be equal to 750 meter because only when the perimeter is 750 meter the total cost will come out to be 75,000 rupees. So we got it to be 750 meters but what we calculated with our assumption is the perimeter should be 30x. Therefore we can say that according to question this 30x is equal to 750. So from here x is equal to 750 divided by 3 which is equal to divided by 30 which is equal to 25. Now once we know 25 then we can calculate L as 11 into 25 which is 275 meters. This would be the length of the plot and the breadth would be 4 into 25 which is equal to 100 meters. Therefore the dimensions of the plot would be 275 meters by 100 meters. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.